In this video, I'll be going over what every single niche site owner should be doing in order to build trust, authority, EEAT and overall increase their rankings and traffic. So first of all, what this video is not. So I'm not going to be telling you to go out there and build a load of social media profiles like all the other SEOs are going to be telling you. Now, if you've been in the SEO space, you've been researching SEO, you've probably been um, stumbling across these people that have been talking about, oh, just build social media profiles. That's a great way to build trust. No, it's not. That's not going to help you. What you want to do is build an entity, a brand. Social media profiles aren't going to help you do that. So what I'm talking about is going to help you build an actual entity, a brand, and overall, it'll increase your rankings and lead to more traffic. So what am I talking about here? What? How do you do this? So what you're going to be doing is simply using the search operator minus site colon, then type in your website and then your brand name. So for example, we've got this particular example here. So techanime.com, I've typed in the search operator, the website, and then the brand name here. Now things like Facebook, Twitter, etc., all these social media, they don't count. So we've got this here. This is just a profile. That doesn't count. And this is just a statistic type of website. That doesn't count. So there's no one here really talking about this particular brand. So we've got this here. This is just a rehash of the content that's already published. So no one's really talking about this brand. No one at all. So that's a big no-no. So what can we do in order to fix this issue? And how can we do it cost effectively? So what we want to do is take a press release type of approach. So let's say, for example, you're offering a new, a new job. So even if you're not, you can still take advantage of this. What you can do is simply go to your website and then you can create a careers page and say you're offering a job. Even if you're not, it's fine. It'll do the trick. And then you can go on different websites and say you're offering a job. Tech Anime is currently hiring. Another approach you can do is take an opinion position from the organization or from the individual. So what I mean by this is, so for example, this website here talks about video games and anime. So we're currently coming to the end of the year. So let's say you post on a website and the um, article is all about Tech Animate's top 10 video games of 2023. Well, guess what? We got Tech Animate in there. And ideally we'd leave a link in the article as well. So we're getting our brand out there. Or you, it could be titled um, Bob's Top 10 Games of 2023. And within the article, it says, come check out my site, Tech Animate. So how do you actually get on these websites? First of all, I'll be showing you some free methods. So that's the three will be medium.com. So you can sign up to this for free, I believe. So it is free. I'm pretty sure I signed up for it uh, for free. And then you can use Reddit, another one. You can post an article on Quora. So on all three of these, you can post articles. There are uh, more free sources out there, but these are the three I like to go to. So what you're going to do is publish your pieces on here. And you can come up with different ideas. Uh, you can use ChatGPT to come up with different ideas. But you just want to basically put your brand name within the title. What does X think about X? Or X is currently hiring. So you want to make sure you're mentioning your actual brand within the title here. Now, after you've exhausted your free sources or you've just got a handful of free sources, you'd want to move on to paid sources. Now, the key here is to negotiate because they will be charging you a price 99.99% .99 of the time. There used to be a time where you could um, email a website owner and say you'll write for them and in return they'll give you a backlink but that's dead, that no longer works. Um, very In very few industries and niches that'll work but 99% of the time it's just not going to work. So what I like to do is go on places like Upwork and Facebook and post a job. So you want to get industry specific, niche specific will mean treading on the competitors so you can't get niche specific so let's say um, you sell pens, you're all about pens 
and then you try to post on a website that's all about pens as well, that's not going to work. Instead, it could be maybe something like um, a website regarding productivity, and then um, you mention the best pen to be uh, most productive, that's the most comfortable. So you've got to keep something like that in mind. So you want to be industry specific, and after you've got a few industry specific websites, you'd want to move on to more general websites. So you're hitting all three of these, some free sources, then some industry specific sources, and then general sources. So you can go for three, and then three of these, and then three of these, that's a great starting point. So what I like to do is I like to go to Upwork and post a job. So I posted this job here, and this is, I post so many of these types of jobs, and I'm just using this as an example here, but this is how I get a bunch of links, and I'm able to get it at a pretty reasonable price. So I'll read you what I wrote. So I'm looking for backlinks on home improvement websites only. So this is being niche specific. Website requirements must be receiving traffic at least 10k. According to SEMrush, please don't send sites that don't meet, meet this requirement or you're just going to spam. So a lot of people, they'll just send you a bunch of their crappy sites that say, oh, this is a high def domain authority. It doesn't matter what the domain authority is. Don't pay any attention to that. Pay attention to how much traffic it's getting. That's what's important. Next of all, no PBNs, real websites only. Home improvement website. So again, you want to emphasize your niche or industry. Um, must be realistically priced for a guest post. I don't care about DA, only traffic. So again, you're letting people know you're willing to pay, but you're not going to pay an arm and a leg. You want a decent price. Please send the links to the websites and not spreadsheets. So what people like to do is they'll say, oh, check out my websites. They'll send you a link to a spreadsheet and then you have to sort through them. That's a pain in the ass. I can't be bothered to do that. And I'm sure you can't either. And yeah, this is pretty much the template I use. It's short and sweet. And I just put instant pay looking for backlinks on industry specific site. So very simple, very, very straightforward. And that's an easy way to build EEAT and build trust and authority. This is a realistic way. I'm not doing this crappy social media profile stuff. This is all low quality stuff that probably worked years and years and years ago when Google was first starting to spring up. But in today's world, Google's more than smart enough to know. And I personally tested this. This stuff does not work. However, this stuff does. This will move the needle forward. Again, you're building a brand. You're building an actual entity. And that's it for this video. And if you enjoy videos like these, you like golden nuggets, then just check out the channel. And I'm actually considering stopping publishing videos because I'm not really getting any engagements for my videos. So no one really likes and comments. So if you could leave a comment, that'd mean a lot. That'd be a big help. And it'll just let me know um, that people are actually watching and enjoying this content because if people aren't commenting, um, then basically I'm just going to stop. So yeah, if you could comment, I'd really appreciate it. And that's it for this video. And uh, thanks a lot for your time.